Godlings, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Rich Sagoth, and welcome to my web. In today's video, we're going to be doing a few things, <laughs> as the title, I'm sure, suggests. So, we're going to Halloween hunt. We're going to be doing spooky basket exchange time, because it's the season, and tis the season. And we're just going to yap and do our nails. Because why not? <laughs> so yeah, if you're into that, stick around, hit the subscribe button, give it a like so the algorithm knows that you like it. <laughs> and yeah, so we are going to be going to, oh, there's also a haul at the end. Did I mention? There's a haul at the end. And if you're wondering, who is that lovely being on your face? This is Kendrick. Say hi. Yeah. Kendrick, everyone. <laughs> he glows in the dark, though. Um, if you're interested in these, hold on, I have them. These are these bad boys from Marshalls for four bucks. There's a few different ones, so if you're interested, <laughs> if because I do have, I do have the little stars from Starface, but they're just so yellow, and you'll see in the video that I eventually find the black ones finally. But yeah. I have such I have so many of these yellow ones I just have to use them so but at least we know where they are anyways <laughs> let's get on with the video we're gonna start off by starting out our nails and throughout the video we'll sh I'll show you the end result so if you need your nails done and you do them at home let's let's just do them together why not right <laughs> I'll give you a second to collect your belongings okay so I'm using stickers because I don't want to paint them. I don't want to wait for them to dry. And it, if you didn't know, I have ADHD or ADD. I don't remember which one. And that's, there's one, there's one problem. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like waiting for it to dry. I'm very impatient when it comes to that. So um, the nail stickers were my best bet. And I got these this year and in a video, actually, I'll link it around so you can check it out. Cause that was a great one. But you got these from Marshalls and they were each five dollars and I figure, wow, fifteen bucks for there's thirty-two nail strips and they last up to fourteen days. What a steal. So yeah, here are the ones that we're going to pick from. Um, I'm not really sure which ones I want to go with. Not sure. Oh, I like something about all of them. If, let me know which one you like the most. Of course, I'll have to pick on my own here. But, you know, knowing which ones others liked, then, you know, maybe I'll gravitate that one that way next time. Mm. I'm thinking black. Well, duh, right? <laughs> maybe red? Maybe some red and black? My fingernails are like nubbies right now, unfortunately. They've been through some damage, so I'm trying to take them through a healing journey <laughs> and not go get them done like I want to and just cover it up, but like treat them. So that's why the stickers as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with these. And white scares me, but it shouldn't. <laughs> For a nail, it scares me. It's just like, because anything could happen and then it's a different color. You know, you eat something, you eat curry, and you touch the sauce and then bam, your fingernails a different color for weeks. <laughs> okay, so we picked our one and we're just gonna pop them open. There's no like cute way to open this package. But Dashing Diva Gloss, number one best selling strip. Not a sponsor at all. Um, but let's see if I can get her open. I'm just gonna tear it open because why not? Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> okay. Does it come with stuff? It comes with stuff. Let's see. There's a little packet. So it has all this information and it comes in a little plastic sleeve. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I didn't have to bring my own. It comes with a prep pad and a buffer file. 
So that's nice. Um, I already... I was prepared, okay? <laughs> you weren't gonna get me. Oh, my poor baby nails. Ugh. Um, yeah, so we have our nails. Um, we're just gonna use this prep pad, but before we do that, I went to Dutch Bros. And, you know, Dutchies is my favorite thing. <laughs> mm. I got the... And it's delicious. So we're gonna use our little prep pad. And while we do this, we're just gonna yap because I've gotta yap. And YouTube to me is therapy. Um, I know it's not actual therapy, so like, you know. But it's therapeutic, if anything. And it's just, you guys, I'm losing my job. At least I was given enough time to look so like that's the saving grace but this economy for job hunting is just absolutely bonkers and i just uh, i don't know man it was just it was such a shock so that's why like if you've been wondering where i've been um in shock really that's where that's where i have been oh i'm just rubbing the nail here like you know Cleaning off the nail beds, making sure they're nice and dry. And we're gonna buff them. Slightly buff. Like a so. Here. You know what? Just for you, I'll activate second cam. So, but yeah, I've just been um, in shock because, like, my job, you know? So now I gotta start. Like, I feel like I wasn't in, like, like a job that, like, I could move up in a whole bunch. But I was comfortable, and that was the problem. And now it's time to spread my wings and fly. And so I'm basically doing a whole career switch. <laughs> Which, you know, is scary, but also really exhilarating. It feels kind of like a quarter-life crisis. <laughs> and I don't know... I think I, I guess I am around the age where I could have one, um, but that's what it feels like, which that's fine. Honestly, I'm ready. I'm like excited for it. So yeah, couldn't ask for something different. This is like the perfect time wiping it off here. Um, and then I was doing my astrology chart. I was just reading up, you know. And apparently it's a big time for like change and just rebirth in the Taurus sign. And it's just time to spread my wings. It's something I've always wanted to do and I'm finally doing it and I'm not listening or I'm not letting anyone deter me this time around. So like if you need a little motivation, just if it feels good in your soul like the universe is talking to you like you just you just know it you feel it you feel that gut feeling go for it just go for it because <laughs> yeah it, nothing else will ever feel like that so yeah that's my hope for my future what an interesting time interesting interesting but I'll be able to film even more going to work outfits for you. <laughs> so that's the fun part. Okay, so we are about to start the nails here. Um, I don't know. I'll probably do one and then, then we'll start the video so, you know, we can get it started and I can show you them at the end. Okay, so I'm going to go with this bat one here first. And these are so like scary to get off because once you mess up, that's kind of it. So, yeah. Go up next to the cuticle, but not too close, and then press and release, and then wrap around like that, like that. And then you find the edge of your nail, or for me, the nub end, <laughs> and bend it. And then you take this piece. And you just file it away. Okay. 
it's almost released here so like that and then of course I'm gonna clean it up here there we go that's the first nail and then I will come back and then show them after we shop till we drop so let's go over and head off to Walmart see you there here we are at Walmart um, I've been to Walmart a couple of times before this but I didn't ever bring my camera because I wanted to make sure I got a few items for the spooky basket, which you will see. Um, but here are the projection lights. I love them. These cute little, um, there were rings, googly eye rings. And this was the best price I've seen for a bottle of blood. So if you're thirsty, Walmart. I think Walmart wins in the cheap outdoor decor. So that's pretty good. Then there's this rude lady in the way y'all, a Karen, my first Karen. She didn't say anything. But she, she knew what she did. They had some really good priced skeletons and actually they were really good quality. Off we are to the candle section. They had such cute packaging and the candles smelled really nice. This packaging was so cute. I absolutely loved it. And these smell really good. So that's a perk. That's a perk. <laughs> Honestly, picking between any of these was definitely a challenge because, and then the price was so good. Four, five dollars for that big of a candle. That's, that's a lot of candle. These wax melts are always, it's always a really good idea to get wax melts from um, Walmart. Now, I don't know how safe they are, so of course, always do your research, but they're always a really good deal. And then I found the gym. This candle warmer. <gasps> I love it. Then there was this one, which was super cool. It was really big though, but I love it. And then I found this one. It was the last one too, so it was like meant to be. It was so cute, so cute. Off we were to the little middle section of the store and they had these cute, super, super cute uh, slippers so adorbs. I think they were for kids though. But I feel like they could you, you can make it fit if your foot is a little smaller. Here is the entryway and here was is what's left. Um, like I said, I came a little earlier and thank goodness I did because there is nothing left.
These bakewares were super cute. I just wish they were silicone like that one from Target. The silicone makes it so much easier to pop them out. These are really pretty. Um, I'm not a big fan of iridescent, however, but they're pretty. These little ghost cups are so adorable. Perfect for like a boo basket. These, be these cups right here were trending for a second because they were kind of like, like the cheaper version of all the Stanleys and like the Simply Modern cups and stuff. Um, and honestly, they weren't bad quality. The only problem is it wouldn't keep your drink cold, which is the selling point, I think, for the Stanley. Or the Simply Modern. I thought I'd go check out the makeup, really in hopes to find the Halloween nails, but I have yet to find the Halloween nails. But here's the makeup that they have. And never let anyone tell you that drugstore isn't good because this this can do the job just the same Plus, LA Colors is that girl. She holds you down. She always has colors that usually the br regular brands don't carry. And designs like this. Like, how cute! Then were some more wet and wild stuff that was really cute. A lot of it was gone, so I'm not really sure what was here. But these stencils, I love these. Then there were the remnants of the Nightmare Before Christmas line. Um, I was looking at this purpley shade because it was stunning in the package, but hopefully it translates well on the skin. And here are the star faces I was talking about. They come in black and they're at Walmart. So if you're looking for them, maybe check Walmart. I went over to the jewelry section and just trying to look at stuff. Here's the stuff from Claire's and it's the like kitty stuff. But of course, if that's your cup of tea, go for it. It doesn't have to be for kids. This was their gothic shop and it had a few different shop names um, but this was just like a spin of like a collection that they had. They had some pretty cute stuff in here but I feel like a lot of it was really cheap. 
cheap quality at least and it, kind of generic so but if you need something quick at least you know you can find something at Walmart We went back over to the Halloween section in the beginning of the store because there's just there's just so much. There's kind of scattered around the store, but they had such cute kid costumes, such like party stuff that was super cute. But yeah, so that was Walmart. Um, chaotic and strangely busy for 8 a.m. So yeah, I think I've gotten everything that I want for the basket. Eh, the basket. So I think I'm going to just be browsing around at the other stores because I think I've gotten enough stuff this <laughs> this Halloween season. My wallet is yelling. So yeah, <laughs> then home goods and then to the party. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Well, no, and then to home to change for the party, do the basket up and then we're going. <laughs> I can't wait to show you the basket. It's gonna be so good. Okay, see you there. So here we are at a wonderful home goods. They had this giant stack, which was super cool. They actually had a good bit of Halloween still, so it was nice to see. This was a candy corn dish and it had candy corn in it. How cute! But $10? This little bat was so cute. Tick tock, tick tock. Sorry, your time's up. <laughs> found another spider web this one was ugh, it would help me not have to put uh, uh, it would help me not have to put batteries in that one but I didn't get it I didn't get it I have like three <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, I have been hoping to find her this whole season. I just wanted to see her in person. Um, I didn't like it. It was given very bad paint job, but I'm sure there's been some amazing repaints. They put, they put all of the cups in one place. They're like, here, <laughs> this is where you go. I'm like, oh, okay. I really wanted to like this cup, but what is that? Why does that spider look like that? They didn't have any cute cups left, so. Which is great, you know, great for me because I don't need any more cute cups. They did have this cute basket. It looks like Dracula from Sesame Street. So cute. And these little plates, they did have a lot of cute dishware that I was very tempted by. Look at this wine stopper. These are, I love these. These are so cute. I love wine. And then just to make it spooky, spooky wine. This kettle is absolutely stunning. It was very precariously placed here, but I loved it. And if I didn't have one already, and this baked dish is so cute. We know how we all feel about Ray Dunn, but this one was really cute. Just a lot of random stuff just kind of left and it, it hurts. <laughs> Cause there's nothing great left and I don't know, man. I circle back and I saw her. She is stunning. I have no place for her, but she's stunning. They did have some pillows that were really good. Like this one, I really loved. So this place is a Home Goods Marshalls, so I went over to the Marshalls side and looked at some purses. This one, however, was super fun. It was super fun. I loved that it was a bubbling cauldron, um, but it also kind of reminded me of a germ, like at the very top part. I don't know. I don't know why it reminded me of a germ. <laughs> Okay, so yes, my makeup is on. <laughs> this is a different part of, this is the same day, just a different part of the day. Um, but yeah, we just went to, where did we go? What was that? Home Goods. <laughs> we went to Home Goods. <sighs> there was two shelves, y'all. Two shelves. Ugh. How sad. I'm bummed, but hey, tis the season for the next holiday i suppose because i know cracker barrel was like it's time it was time for cracker barrel at like the end of i'd say august they were like okay next <laughs> but yeah so yeah there was like a plate that i picked up 
that I was like, yeah, like I like this. It was only $3.99. And then I thought about it and I was just like, I don't really want it. Because it's just, it's just a plate. I don't know. I, I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't, I didn't get that inside feeling, that little sparkly feeling. So, but yeah, I'm so sad. Ugh. I didn't even find any of the busts really that I wanted this year. I found one and it was a little messed up and I haven't found one since. So I'm glad I picked that up when I did, but yeah. Oh, I would have never seen it otherwise. Oh, and I also didn't even find the bag that I wanted in Michael Marshall's Marshall's. It's the Steve Madden bag with the little bats next to it. I've been trying to find that in person because I don't want to have to pay somebody online to like help me find it. But if I don't find it, then that's just, I guess it's a sign that I have too many purses, which I do. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, it's a new day. We are wearing our bandana from TJ Maxx last year. Actually, no, this is from Shein, but they have them at TJ Maxx and you can really just get them anywhere. Anywho, we're at um, Burlington today. We're at Burlington, and I know we said we were going to go to TJ Maxx, but I was like, let's go to Burlington instead, because I haven't been this season, and that's surprising. So, yeah, Burlington. Let's go see what they have. They didn't have much, and this is my first time going to Burlington, and I knew going in at the end of the season was a bad idea but but they still have more than I thought so that's good they had these big pillows and these cute table runners and this little pumpkin so cute he was a little disheveled though so I'm sure they had other ones that look better This tombstone, dear departed brother Dave, he chased a bear into a cave. How cute. These uh, plate thingies are so cute. Love them. This is where I got my shower curtains from, and I love them. So if you're in need, Burlington, shower curtains. They had barely any cups left. Um, it was very hard to find what they did. And if they did have any, they were kind of broken or messed up. But this one was good. So if you're into Chucky, Burlington. They had this three pillow stack, which I thought was super cool, but I couldn't find a price. This candle was 
It smelled good, but it was covered in glitter. <laughs> covered. The whole thing was glitter, and I'm not sure how safe that is to burn. But, hey, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's glitter you can burn. There's this cup, though. It was super cute. And that, kids, is what happens when you go at the end of the season. Oh my gosh, there was like nothing. <laughs> there was some cute stuff, but not anything worth buying. Well, there may have been. Like, I saw some design possibilities, but... <sighs> and then it's just going to start me down a whole nother wherever hole of more design possibilities it's just never ending okay sorry for the weird light it's our nighttime lighting but um i've i'm back home and we have everything that we're gonna have for the basket and let me get started on showing you what everything is gonna be okay so here it all is some things i got I got, I got something really from every store just about. So yeah, let me go over it with you. So we have this bat pen. Isn't this adorable? So fun, I love it. I did wish it came with like a, a cap, but that's okay. Yeah, it's just a cute little office decor for her. Oh my gosh. And then I of course got my girl a pumpkin broom because why not? They smell absolutely incredible. I have one upstairs and it just lights up the whole area. This is, oh, and this is from Target. Both of these things are from Target. This is from TJ Maxx, Witch's Garden. These are ice molds. So there, I took off the prices for things, but don't worry, I have this for myself as well. So I'll be able to go in full detail and show you what the results are after this, of course, during the haul. Um, of course I got my girl some Nightmare Before Christmas because yeah. And it's this beautiful like purple color. It's not really picking up too well here. Um, but yeah, I hope she likes it. And I hope it comes out as dark as it is in container because yeah, <laughs> we're girls of color and we need <laughs> representation in all the brands so I would love to be able to recommend wet and wild hashtag wet and wild <laughs> if this is you know black girl friendly people of color friendly of course I got this hot drink bath or not bath bomb I always want to put these in the bath for some reason these drink bomb this drink bomb it is hot chocolate and it's a little witch broom not witch broom it's a little witch cauldron isn't this so cute? Target, oh my goodness. Oh, and Walmart. <laughs> um, Walmart, this is. I went to Walmart before I showed you guys because it just came out with stuff and I was like, I gotta get it before they sell out. So, I'm happy I did because they didn't have this at all when I went back today. But we have this cup and it changes colors. I don't know what the colors exactly turn to. It might be black, like the ones that are white turn black, but we'll see. And don't worry again, I have this cup for myself because I just can't buy things for other people <laughs> without getting something for myself. Um, so yeah, we shall see what the colors look like. I can't wait to see myself. We got her some Sour Bat gummies. These are from TJ Maxx. Now I know people talk about the snacks from TJ Maxx, but like if you just check the expiration dates, you're usually good. I mean, you know, don't give them too much crap. They they don't have bad stuff. Now, sometimes they do have out of date stuff and it's like, oh yeah, but these are good. And I hope they're in the shape of bats. I haven't seen these. I don't have these myself. So I guess we'll never know unless we look it up maybe. If, if I look it up, I'll put up a picture of what they look like. <laughs> We have some Hello Kitty face masks and lip mask. If you recognize this from the last video, I will go ahead and link it above so you can check it out. Cause that was a fun video. Um, but yeah, so we have this from Five Below. Um, I don't know how much any of it is because everything was just kind of everywhere and that's just Five Below. <laughs> um, I got her, of course. She likes ghosties a lot. And I was like, well, Duh, this just, just makes sense. This is a fragrance, this is a fragrance warmer. Ghosty, look how cute. I'm gonna ask her to 
maybe like take it out and light it up for you guys so we can see in person because I don't have this one or I don't have one that's a ghosty and then I got her love at first bite pumpkin sugar and these smell so good I wish it was a little stronger but this is cute and this is nice for like a light scent so she can use these up kind of quick and then go and find ones that she likes even more than this one and I hope she likes this one she likes pumpkin so pumpkin and sweet stuff for the holidays I think at least so yeah it's always a it's always a gamble getting people something that smells for any occasion and yeah and then last but not least oh then the basket too but it's this little decoration it's just a little pumpkin glow toy I don't really know what this is myself but when we put the baskets together we shall see what this does to put it all in our basket. I'm not sure if this basket is gonna fit everything, so I don't know how I'm gonna stack it all in here. But that's what that's what magic is for, right? We're gonna we're gonna see what happens when I get everything together. Okay, so here it is. I ended up using some old paper wrapping paper from Sourpuss Clothing. Um, because I had it and might as well. So yeah, here's everything. I'll end up cracking this. So it's actually a glow stick that lights up this pumpkin. Isn't that cool? So when she's done, Winston's done lighting up, she can just, I guess, toss it. It's kind of useless, but you know, it's cute. So I can't wait to show you what it looks like. All lit up. Off we go to this party. Oh, I'm so excited. So we are back and I have my nails done. Are you ready to see? Here they are. They're not the most perfect nails in the world, but they're good enough for me and they come with a little design. So I cannot complain. Yeah, I'm not mad at them. They're cute. They're cheap and I have a whole nother set that I can do. So that's great. Happy with my nails and I'm... I'm great now. Now I feel better, you know? <laughs> I was big sad before, but now, now I feel like I can, like, be a person. So, anywho's, on to our haul. We have a good bit of stuff. Um, updates. I did not get her to open, or to show us the, she hasn't opened the little ghosty yet, so maybe whenever she does, I'll show you guys. I don't know, though. It, I don't know, though, because... I don't know. I don't want to force anybody to open a gift. That's weird. <laughs> but also, I, I tried to show you what it looked like, but we're just in the heat of, like, hanging out. And it was just such a great hangout. <sighs> On to the basket. I didn't show you guys what we did. We were just really just hanging out. We had um, Torchy's Tacos, if you've ever had Torchy's Tacos. Um, it's delicious. You should try it. Um, we had, uh, we watched Jennifer's Body, and we watched the first episode of Interview with the Vampire, the show. It's, it's good. Like, if you're into vampires, which hopefully, hello, <laughs> you are, if you're, if you keep stopping in the beginning of the episode, like I used to do, finish the first episode. Just finish it. Like, now I'm hooked, and now I need to finish it. <laughs> I need to finish the whole, like, series. So anyways, that's what we did, but we also exchanged baskets, and I didn't get to show you mine. So, here we are. Um, here's the basket. I was gonna put it back together, girl. I was, but <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> so it's just all in this basket, which, first of all, look. Look at the basket. Isn't this super cute? <laughs> but anyways, here's, you know, the pile of stuff on top. Where's the cup? Oh, wait. Oh. But yeah, okay. So let me start with the thing that didn't fit back in the basket, which was this cup. And this is funny because you'll see why later. <laughs> but this is a changing colors cup, and I'm not quite sure how it changes colors. Um, I will insert B-roll of it here so you can see. Um, but yeah, this one's so cute. I love it. And I think she said it was from Walmart. No, no, I'm not going to say that. So cute. Then she got me some... Then she got me some trail mix, which I've already been going at, okay? It's from 
favorite day, which is Target, and it's the pumpkin spice trail mix. And it has honey, roasted peanuts, pumpkin, or pumpkin spice pretzel balls, pumpkin shaped mellow creams, pumpkin spice mini cups, and pumpkin spice clusters. Delicious, okay? And then she got me this little guy. <laughs> uh, look at his little bag. And his little thing is he likes to move across like platforms and places, so he'll go like that somewhere. So I'll, I'll probably show you. Like, that's what he does. Just imagine. <laughs> but yeah, a little plushie. So cute. And then she hooked me up with some Bath and Body Works. Candy Apple. Delicious. This smells so good. Mmm. Ugh, it smells so good. So good. And then she gave me a little game. Goldfish. How cute. Look at the little guys on the back. Aren't they just adorable? Ugh. This is too cute. I can't wait to play it. I love little card games. It's like my guilty pleasure. Um, and then she got me dish towels. Because you can't have enough. You really just can't. So, yeah, I love these. They're just so Halloween magic. I love it. And then some socks. And these bad boys glow in the dark. So that's cool. I can't wait to put them on and see them glow. And she got me a little drink bomb. A little drink bomb. So cute. I love, I love these. I love these. These are always my favorite thing to look forward to towards the hol holiday season because they have them for Christmas as well. But yeah. Love it. We got a bath bomb that's pumpkin chai latte, which is funny because that's what I'm drinking. <laughs> but ooh, it smells just like it, which is either concerning or it's fine. <laughs> and we're just going to go towards it's fine. Um, she got me some black magic. We just saw this at Walmart. So if you're wondering where it's from, Walmart. Ugh, and it smells so good. It smells like, let's see, do they have it? No, they don't say. It kind of smells like mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works mixed with, oh, what's it? It's like their grape scent. It's like a Merlot like a like a mer their their merlot one i don't know what they're i don't know if i remember it i'll put it on the screen um speaking of bath and body works this is a lip exfoliate uh, exfoliating lip scrub which we can totally do like another skincare video that was so much fun actually let me know down below if you like that because that helped my heart this is pumpkin spice scented flavor <laughs> so i can't wait to use this one this is exciting to me and then last but not least she got me these coasters and she knows it she's she knows she knows me <laughs> this is perfect i told her that i was like this is perfect Ugh, i'm just so happy um but yeah that's the spooky basket that was our favorite thing to do every year um, so yeah, I hope you liked it. Okay, so on to our haul. We went to a place that I did not film because we've already been there, which was Target. And I went back per y'all's request and I got us this. Welcome to our web. Isn't it adorable? I think this, this was our... This was literally the last one, so it was definitely meant to be. Um, yeah, I loved it. I love it so much. I don't know where I'm going to put it. There's, our background is already so busy as it is, but I would love to get it somewhere behind me. In the meantime, just know <laughs> we are in our web here. Cozy, comfy, wrapped up, drinking chai latte. So anyways... $10 from Target. This was perfect for me for obvious reasons. I might do a little more DIY, maybe take that off or add more. Not really sure. <laughs>
But yeah, I love it so much. The next place I have something from is Home Goods. actually. I found the one thing that keeps haunting me this entire season. I keep passing it up. I'm like, um, I don't need it. I don't need it. And then, and then I just, I ran into it when we went and I was just like, I know it's not going to be here anymore. Like, this is it. This is the end of the Halloween stuff. So I might as well just go ahead and grab it. And this one was perfectly, it was in really good condition. So it was meant to be. And that is, whew, and that is this. I just, I love these. These are so pretty. I've been fighting myself for weeks on these. I'm like, do I really need these? And of course, of course I do. Look at them. This was... $17. So for $17, you know? Why not? I love them. I love them so much. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to like style them. They will be used next year. I'm not going for a witch theme this year. But next year, more stuff that we got from Home Goods are some dishes. Um, I usually get the like single packs, but I thought maybe I'd try to go ahead and get like a stack instead, so, you know, save a little coin, but also have more of a complete set than one or two random plates. So we have this set and I will show you what they look like here on the back. If you can see like that, there they go. Yeah, and these were only $10, and you get five plates? Four. Four plates. So yeah, a great little steal. They're all super cute. My hubby loved them, so it was a win-win. Next up, I am a note taker. I take notes. I like lists. That's just my personality. It's My personality is almost a type A. If there was a between an A and a B, I'd be right there in the middle. <laughs> but... I have a to-do list with a ghost sticky pad. This was perfect. This was made for me. <laughs> and it's Emily Dumas. And I'll show you here. And it was only four bucks. I'll show you her name. So in case you're looking for something like this as well. There it goes. But yeah. And the, like the little ghosties on there. I don't know. You can't really see. It's not really picking up, but there's like little scribbles of ghosts and stuff that are etched in. And this is just perfect. I just, this makes my note taking heart happy because I am definitely tired of the neon colors. Like, I know it's supposed to like, like pop and get your color attention, but it just messes up the decor. <laughs> And last but not least, from the family of TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, all of that, we got ice molds and their witch theme, their witch garden rose ice molds. So cute! That's what they look like. I'll show you here what they actually look like in a cup. But my word, how stinking cute. I love these so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're so pretty. They're so pretty. And if you saw, well, of course. And I, we got my friend that for the spooky basket. And I think this is just the perfect little gift for a spooky basket. Because you always need ice. Well, and if you don't need ice, well then, I don't know. I guess you could maybe cook with it. Maybe? actually don't know don't cook with it I'm not sure <laughs> but yeah these are super fun I love them they're so pretty and who doesn't want ice that's a rose it's giving glam and functionality love it off to Walmart and do you remember that cup I was talking about yeah the cup that wasn't on the shelf that I was like yeah I went to Walmart before any of the stuff sold out and I didn't film it well here it is <laughs> and then I got and then I have that one from the spooky basket so now I have two of these <laughs> so fun right I know so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I guess I'll just have two 
Um, but yeah, now I have two. Oops. <laughs> but I, they feel like really good quality cups. Maybe like this is kind of iffy or the lid is kind of iffy. But they're fun. They're just for like a little sip, a little drink, a little drink of something, you know? So I could not leave those makeup stencils there from Wet n Wild. So I got two of them and this one was the last one of this. So I'm really glad that I got it. But I'm going to definitely be using the heck out of these. Because if you don't have to draw it and just use a stencil, hello, I'm going to use the stencil. So if you notice any like intricate art, just know that it's these stencils <laughs> from Wet n Wild. And if they have anything on their website like these, I'll try to link them below. Because I feel like this is a really good like beginner makeup essential or just you know an essential in general because you get lazy sometimes or you're in a rush and you want a spider web coming out right here <laughs> you never know but anyways yeah $2.99 for each of them not even a bad deal so of course they had that ghosty wax melt super cute they had the um coffin shaped wax melt which took four cubes if you saw that I saw that and I was like four cubes that's like basically the whole container <laughs> but they had the house wax melt and here it is lit up in all of its glory <sighs> i love it so much <laughs> it's so perfect it's everything i want you know i have one that looks like a fireplace but this one this is everything i've been wanting in a fire in a wax melt i just love it i, I just can't stop looking at it <laughs> it's perfect um it was 16.98 i think that's their end numbers but yeah i think it's worth every penny and if you have the chance to grab one grab one because this could like really like amplify the room smell wise light wise and just decor wise in general you know if you're just kind of you know missing that something and of course, to go with that, I got my scent of Beware of Scares, which is Cypress, Cypress and Amber. And then I have that one from my ghost basket, my boo basket, which she didn't even know that I grabbed one for myself, <laughs> which was funny. So I have multiples, which is great. Ugh, this one smells so good to me. I like like deeper scents. Um, I'm kind of like a patchouli like a forest type of scent person um so yeah i don't know what that's about but i love it so patchouli is my girl <laughs> so yeah this one's great and it was only like you know two three dollars last but not least we got more makeup and it was this la color set and it is four cream palette set and i'm gonna be doing some looks with this i'm gonna be doing some looks with this if you're wondering, don't you worry. Probably going to be combining the two. Um, but yeah, LA Colors, like I said, is that girl. And if you're in need and you want something you want something cheap but effective, LA girl. <laughs> LA Colors. That wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the style of where I do something while I do the video. Because it helps me also get the thing done and hang out with you guys so if you like that go ahead give it a like let me know that you like it leave me a comment down below what was what are you looking forward to this halloween season are you doing anything fun um i have some stuff planned and i cannot wait to show you thanks for hanging out and i will see you in the next video weblings bye